the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we're glad to be here at uh, the Grotto in Lloyds. I greet also those that are following us on uh, television and especially pilgrims from Ireland, pilgrims from Dublin and pilgrims from uh, the Oblate pilgrimage. Normally you should have been here with us and uh, you prevented from coming because of uh, COVID. You are very much in our prayers and uh, we are united together, one another. We stand as one family and uh, we put all our petitions before a lady. She listens to us and she knows what we need. Somebody just phoned me today saying, please pray for me, I cannot come. Here we are, praying with you and for you. At the beginning of this uh, Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ our mercy, Christ our mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first chapter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. 
Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Responsible psalm, response. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are, their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God. Grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading reminds us that St. Paul was calling himself an athlete of God. And look at me. I'm slim, muscular. I'm an athlete, too. I'm sure, as you immediately understood, that when Sample was saying that he was an athlete, it wasn't about just sport, but about God himself. And this is what he has said. I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel so that I too may have a share in it. The humility of those preaching the gospel. We see it also here in Lourdes. We have athletes 
hear people that are leading us to faith. But uh, they're not probably those that we look at first. They're sick people. They are handicapped people. They're vulnerable people. And you converted, not because you see famous people coming here. It's not because you will see heads of state or stars, a cinema coming here that you would get converted. But you get converted because you see the humility of people and the hope, the faith, and the charity at work here in Lourdes. This is what also reminds us, is reminded to us by Luke in this Holy Gospel. Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. If you want to be a teacher, if you want to guide a blind person, if you want to be a leader in faith, remove the wooden beam. Be humble. Do not claim to be above anyone, but make yourself servant. Paul wanted to be an athlete, but not in the common sense. He wanted to be the least of the last. And so was Benedict. And so we have to be if we want to lead people to God and not to ourselves. Who am I? Who am I to talk to God and to talk in the name of God? If I'm calling you brothers and sisters, it is that we are indeed, because we share in the same search for God. Or more precisely, because we accept to be found by God. It is not us that are looking for him, it is him first who is looking for me. And here at the grotto we come, in all humility, just to be found by the Lord. Many of you cannot come. Many of you are prevented from going to the Lord's because of transportation, because of COVID, because of so many other challenges. But come. Go in your heart and look for God. As St. Augustine was saying, Oh God, I was looking for you outside. I was looking for you in the sun, thunder. I was uh, looking for you in great things. But you were in my heart. And you were calling me. To be an athlete of God is not to be able to do great things, but to achieve small things with humility in a way that will lead others to see God through you and through your humility. Do not be an obstacle for God's grace, but make yourself transparent to the presence of the Lord in you. Sick people here are those 
they were bringing to us the gospel, the good news. They're converting our hearts, not by doing anything special, but just by being themselves. Just by letting God shining through their own witnesses and their own fragility. I have been converted here just by looking at someone trying to kneel when he was not even able to kneel but trying to kneel because he knew that here God is present and he was reminding me of all the efforts I have to do day after day to change and convert my heart. I am an athlete of God. If slowly, day after day, I'm exercising myself to become more transparent to God's grace, if I let him shine through my own weaknesses, if I let him love me in loving others, do not try to remove the splinter in the eye of your neighbor, but take away the wooden beam in your heart and in your eye, day after day. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, I am the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and made them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, it took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. O who pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize him the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bernadette, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity you pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis of Pope, Nicholas of Bishop, Bishop Antoine the Apostle Delegate, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Be your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all, to all who were pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and uh, formed by divine teaching, united with those that are praying with us from Ireland and many parts of the world, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We kindly invite those who would like to receive communion, those uh, that are Catholic, if they like to come to receive the Holy Eucharist.
Let us pray. Grant that you faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endure with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. At the end uh, of this Mass, celebrated in communion with uh, the uh, uh, Oblate pilgrimage from Ireland. I would like to bless the uh, special candle that is going to burn here in Lloyd's. We're going to light it here at the grotto, but uh, to bless it and light it here at the grotto, but it will burn later on and then the chapel of light. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not, not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray that uh, we will we'll share in the light of the world, that uh, the Lord will protect us in this time of distress, in this time of pandemic, that we will not walk in darkness, but always in hope and faith. Au terme de cette messe, je vais maintenant bénir ce cierge qui est le siège que ont porté les oblats d'Irlande, qu'il soit pour eux le signe de leur présence à l'autre. Oh God, we ask you to bless this candle. It's going to burn here in Lourdes as a sign of the presence and the communion of all the pilgrims from Ireland and the Oblate pilgrimage. Listen to the prayers of your faithful. Listen to the hopes and fears that they convey here in Lourdes and bring to a lady. She's a careful mother and always listen to her petitions. We we'll pray for those who passed away during this time of pandemic. We pray for those who were sick. We pray for those working in hospitals and care, taking care of sick people. We pray for the pilgrims who couldn't come. We pray for our countries and we pray for Ireland. May Our Lady of Lourdes always protect us. And I bless this candle in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.